guys, we've got something a little bit different for you today. It is another cooking show, which isn't totally unusual for this channel, but it's a little bit rare. And today we are collabing with Miss Hobbs and the whole crew that uh, we collabed with for Thanksgiving to bring you some New Year's healthy dishes. So I will put links to all of their channels in the description, but today we are making one of my favorites, super easy easy recipe. I make this all the time throughout the week, but just a simple vegetable tofu stir fry. I am a crew of one today. We'll see about these angles, but we are just heating up some oil here. And while that is heating, I am gonna go chop the veggies. Okay. So I'm still chopping veggies, but our oil is hot. So we're gonna add our tofu and get that going. I like to use uh, extra firm tofu. And I used to cut my tofu into triangles, but now I just cube it. I found that's actually the best technique for me, but you can do whatever works for you. Just start dropping that in there. Yep, oil's nice and hot. And the trick with my tofu recipe. Oh, this is a lot of my spinner. Is that you don't want to mess with it too much, actually. You do want to break it up so that everything is getting nice and crispy. Add a bit of salt. I like a little salt. Okay. And the pepper. Love putting ginger in my stir fry. Um, you can use fresh ginger, but I kind of find that peeling and dicing ginger is pain, so I just buy these squeeze bottles. I'm gonna add some ginger. Make sure it's well mixed. And we're just on like a medium low heat here. But once you feel it's well, well mixed, you just wanna leave it alone for like at least two minutes. I check in like every two to five minutes. So I'm gonna uh, continue chopping vegetables. I'm gonna get our rice going. We're using the Instapot today. And I usually find that just like two cups of cooked rice is good enough for my family. The nice thing about the Instapot is that it requires less water. So for two cups of rice, you only need like two and a half cups of water. And then you just kind of set it and forget it. Got it. Okay, so just hit the rice button and let it do its magic. I used to have just a regular rice cooker, but uh, this is much better. Okay, I'm gonna go chop veggies. Miss Hobbs would be so upset with me, I almost forgot the garlic. So I like to use a garlic press. I've got two cloves here. You don't have to use a garlic press though. Um, you can just chop it up, honestly. And you can use powdered garlic too. But uh, it's really just to your preference. This is not an exact recipe. And then we'll stir that in and see how our tofu is doing. So I'm seeing a little bit of browning, but we're not quite there. We need to leave this to simmer for quite a while longer. Uh, the thing that I've learned with my tofu stir fry is that it always takes longer than I think it should. And I think the reason I used to make it um, sub part of my preferences is because I wasn't patient. You have to be really patient with the tofu to get a nice crisp on it. 
unless you want to straight up fry your tofu, which you can do. But I like this, it's a little bit healthier. It just takes longer. And we've got our healthy veggies over here. We've got some onion, some bell pepper, some baby bok choy, and some yellow summer squash. So really colorful. You can use whatever vegetables you want though. This is just what uh, my family wanted today. So sometimes I'm, I'm a bit lazier and I just use like a defrosted bag of frozen vegetables. So that's an option too. Okay, <clears throat> so we're starting to get a nice brown on our tofu. And here's the love part. You really have to put some love into this dish. You want to like carefully flip over your tofu pieces if you have the patience for it again. If you don't, it's fine. It's just my preference. But I like to make sure they're being moved around properly and they're getting at least two crispy sides to them. That's my preference. It's also how I cook potatoes. Like say I'm making potatoes for breakfast burritos or just regular sauteed potatoes for breakfast. My husband prefers to dice them really tiny, the potatoes and they do quick up, cook up really evenly and nicely that way, but I prefer like a larger rustic potato and he says that mine actually tastes crispier because they're larger and I'm patient with them. So I think the same rule follows for tofu and I could be totally wrong, I don't know. This is just how I cook this dish. I invented this recipe myself. I have perfected it to my liking over the years, but like I said, you kind of need to work it and adapt it for your taste. Some people like softer tofu, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for a bit. And we'll be back. Probably set a timer for another two minutes and we'll check it. Okay, these are getting nice and crispy now. You can be a little more aggressive with them. They're not going to fall apart as much. And I think it is time for us to add our onion and bell pepper because that's going to need a little more time to cook. I want the bok choy and the squash to be a bit crisper. But I want these to really infuse the tofu with some good flavor. You can salt these a little bit more if you'd like. It really depends on your taste um, and your salt tolerance. Some people can't have as much salt, um, but I'm actually going to wait because, again, the sauces, like everything in this dish, are really up to you, but I like to add soy sauce, and that has a considerable amount of so uh, salt, unless you're getting like the low sodium option. So I am just gonna let those saute for about two minutes now. And again, the timing on this, it's not perfect. It's really a watch and see. It's about the look. Like you, you have to feel it. For the recipes I've created, I'm not very good at by the book. I'm really like a tinker, tamper, wait and see, slow kind of mama cook. Okay, I think that's looking awesome. Let's add in our other veggies. It sounds like our rice is done. Perfect timing. So we'll let that um, we'll let that set. It has to um, let some steam off. And I actually think because the bok choy is going to get wilty, I think we're going to add our summer squash and our bok choy. It's looking awesome. I love a colorful stir fry. Thought about adding some of the beets. I still have some left over from my healthy grain bowl, but uh, I don't really want to dye this pink. So you can't really add beets to something and not dye it pink. All right, we're gonna let that go for another two minutes. Yes, this is a very low and slow recipe. I would give yourself about 30 minutes to do this. 
Okay, now let's add our bok choy. And I forgot to mention before, but part of the reason that I salt the tofu so heavily at the beginning and not the vegetables is because we get enough salt in this dish. But um, I find that adding a like, heavier dash of salt to the tofu at the beginning really helps draw the moisture out as you're frying it. But again, um, if you don't like that much salt, if you shouldn't consume that much salt, definitely don't put it in there. Okay. We're almost done. So now we've got everything in there. You can see, super colorful, really awesome. So we're gonna add in our sauces and I'm gonna start with some teriyaki. Like I said, you can use whatever you want. Sometimes I use like a Kung Pao sauce or a black bean sauce. Uh, sometimes we'll do like a Korean barbecue. It really just depends on what we're feeling, but I have this teriyaki sauce right now and it's pretty delicious. And then I've got some soy sauce here. And like I said, I always like to add soy sauce regardless of what other sauces I'm using just because uh, I like that um, umami flavor and I like the salt. But the uh, good thing about this dish, other than there being a lot of healthy vegetables, is that it is 100% vegan. So if you struggle with high cholesterol, there is zero cholesterol in a plant-based diet. Now that's not to say that your body doesn't produce cholesterol on its own. So let's face it guys. Uh, some of us have hereditary issues and we just have naturally high cholesterol. Um, but if you are aware that your high cholesterol is diet-based, eating a few more plant-based meals is a great way to reduce that. And like I said, you don't have to use all the sodium I used. I know that's probably killing some of you right now. I just really like salt and that's not something I struggle with.